my Sweet 16 preview. So I'll go through every region, every matchup, every team. On South Carolina, who's taking on Indiana. So starting with South Carolina, obviously they're undefeated. They've been absolutely dominant so far in the tournament. Um, they also have really good bench production. And they've been out-rebounding their opponents by almost 20 rebounds. Obviously, Indiana with their best player being Mackenzie Holmes. She's usually very dominant. And Indiana has five players averaging in double figures. Number two, Notre Dame taking on number three, Oregon State. The Oregon State likes to slow down, so that's two kind of clashing styles of play there, which is something to look out for. Who kind of gets their way will be low scoring, high scoring. That'll be kind of representative of whether Notre Dame or Oregon State is dominating. Um, Notre Dame, obviously, with their big three, Hannah Hidalgo, Sonia Citron, and Maddie Westfield. Their opponent, Oregon State, um, Reagan Beers is averaging a double-double this season, so she's definitely someone to look out for. Like I said before, Oregon State loves to slow the ball down, get into sets, They are averaging 17 turnovers in the tournament, which is something that Notre Dame would definitely be able to take advantage of. Um, We know how Hannah Hidalgo loves to get steals and turn that into transition points. The region of death. Number one, Iowa taking on number five, Colorado. Um, Iowa definitely needs production from Gabby Marshall and Kate Martin. Colorado, one of five Pac-12 teams in the Sweet 16. Um, Jalen Sherrod is their go-to guard, so... They're a very balanced team, defensive-minded, like I mentioned before. UCLA-LSU could definitely be even a Final Four matchup. Starting with UCLA, um, they'll need a big game from Lauren Betts against LSU's LSU's interior. Um, And then Charisma Osborne and Kiki Rice is just incredible and really fun to watch. I think for LSU, um, their first two games were a little bit closer than expected. They had to fight back, Um, but I think... Their kind of best attributes are just the dominant post play. And in the tournament, they're shooting 41% from three. It's USC taking on number five, Baylor. How will um, kind of their supporting cast continue to step up and support Juju? A cool stat for this team is they're third in the country in blocks per game. Um, Jasmine Walker had a great second round game, which is UConn versus Duke. So Paige Beckers and... She's kind of reminded everybody so far in this tournament how special she is. I love her mid-range game. And UConn is top five in the country in assists. So they love to move the ball around and find the best possible shot. And kind of what momentum will Duke have moving towards Duke after their comeback win over Ohio State? I'm just honestly just wondering what Coach Carol Lawson is going to kind of tell them before that game. Um, number one, Texas taking on number four, Gonzaga, Madison Booker, and the fact she can literally do it all, score, distribute, rebound. Uh, then Gonzaga, they bounce back well after losing their conference tournament. That's tough for any team. Um, they're shooting over 40% from the three in the tournament, which is something to look out for. Number two, Stanford taking on number three, NC State. Stanford, obviously, they've been to 28 Sweet 16, so... Watch out for Kiki Yuriofen, who was incredibly dominant in Stanford's OT win over Iowa State. Now, NC State, um, a lot of attention on their their guards. Um, They've combined for 77 points in the Wolfpack's first two tournament games. I feel like I went through that so fast. That's what my thoughts on all of the different regions, all the different matchups from boards, uh, boards and broads. And they asked what makes a top team vulnerable to being upset and what helps a lower ranked team pull off an upset. And I think it's all about matchups and style of play. Um, some really good teams just don't match up well against certain styles, teams that press, teams of size, teams that shoot really well. Um, all right. And then Pullman Potts asked who I think has the best chance of beating South Carolina. <sighs> But I think teams that have a chance to match their size inside so would have a shot. Teams that also have really good guards, fast guards, defensive-minded guards. Thank you all for your questions.